Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make your own Montessori counting rods. And these rods are great for activities such as counting, number quantity, and addition. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily create these uh, for about $10. So here are the supplies that you will need. You will need a pencil, you will need a utility knife, you will need some paint brushes. You want one that has a skinny tip and um, maybe one that has a little uh, wire tip. You will need some acrylic paint. I got some red and blue. And you will need balsa wood. You can get balsa wood at your local craft stores. Um, I got mine at Michael's. You can go maybe try AC Moore's or other local craft stores. You will also need the measuring, a measuring tape like the one here. So once you have your balsa wood sticks, you want to get about four balsa wood sticks that are about three feet. Maybe one extra, just in case you make any um, mistakes. And then you want to come home and you want to lay out the uh, measuring tape. And then you want to measure. I made my balsa uh, wood sticks, the uh, sections, I made it two inches. The, the real Montessori uh, curriculum, I believe, is longer. It's probably like four or five inches. That would be really, really long, and it would require more balsa wood sticks. If you want to create it that way, um, you can, but I decided to use two inches to make the project uh, easy and uh, inexpensive. So you, you spread out the tape here, and then you go ahead and you mark two inches. You mark two inches, and you keep marking two inches all the way down. Now, as you can see, each one represents uh, a number. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you want to measure out your sticks according to the number quantities. And you want to do that on all sides of the balsa wood sticks. And simple as that, guys. And then uh, once you do that, you want to cut it out and with your utility knife and then lastly you want to paint with the paint brushes and what I did was I painted first one color started off with red and then I painted blue the next day let it dry off uh, when you're doing this you don't want to let it dry off on top of newspaper because the newspaper gets stuck to the paint um, so just keep that in mind and um, as you can see the the edges came out pretty nice for me um, but if you really want to be a perfectionist and you want it to come out much, much nicer, you want to use some painter's tape on the edges uh, while you paint so that the, the, the edges come out really, really sharp. Um, but for me, um, short on time, it worked perfectly fine and the sticks look great and they serve their purpose. So on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the really, um, all the really fun activities that you can do with these rods and how educational they can be for children. For more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.